another edition of America's favorite game show, Drunk or Texting, Amtrak flying through a railroad crossing, and a tree trimmer idiot parked in the middle of the travel lane on a highway, and more on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, the first thing for tonight's video is another episode of Drunk or Texting. And now it's time to play another episode of Drunk or Texting. This idiot who pulled out in front of me has been weaving back and forth and is now slowing way down. And four wheelers never go below the speed limit unless they are drunk or texting. You can see him weaving all around. So, gee, what is your guess? Put in your guess. He's drunk! He's gotta be drunk! He's texting! Come on! He's texting! And then right here, we're coming into a town. The speed limit's dropped. Of course, he didn't see the sign, or he or she, because they're drunk or texting. So you see, they shoot off way in front of me. I'm slowing down, because silly me, I obey the speed limit. What do you think? But they shoot off in front of me because they're drunk or texting. Oh, well, light's turning red ahead, so they're gonna have to stop for that. The back window's so dirty, I can't see who's inside. Going to a legal office. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wonder if it's to uh, take care of their last DUI. What do you think? Yeah, my overall guess was depending on, yeah, because it was like midday, probably texting and not paying attention. I just thought that was so funny when they they turned into a lawyer's office. Yeah, this was on, uh, what was that, Wednesday, and I, t I, I had gotten up later than I meant to, so I didn't feel like driving through the Chicago area, so I went straight across on Highway 24, all the way across Illinois and Indiana. Uh, smaller highways, you got to keep slowing down for towns and stuff, and for things like this. So I'm coming up on this railroad crossing, you can see the lights flashing, and the gates are down, and I'm looking right, I'm looking left, I don't see any kind of a train, normally it's some slow-moving freight train, I'm like... I'm going to be sitting here for quite a while, and then all of a sudden, look! Yeah, those Amtraks fly through there, baby, yeah! Growing up out west, we don't see Amtrak very often, because uh, they really don't run that way. Uh, but, you know, it's more common in Illinois especially and it always just blows my blows me away because you know, when the gates come down I'm like yeah is there anything coming I don't see anything usually you're used to the slow moving trains and then whoop, Amtrak just flies on by baby and then I think this was somewhere in Indiana you know some tree trimmers you can see the tree uh, just off to the right that they're trying to trim and they parked the uh, vehicle to uh, you know cut up all the limbs and everything on the main highway and put it on the side road So here we are parked at the uh, TA in Maybrook or Montgomery, New York, whatever you want to say. They're, they're, it's like kind of in between both towns. Um, made my delivery today at the Amazon uh, Distribution Center. I showed up two hours early for a 6 p.m. appointment. I'm trying to check in. They're trying to find the right number and all that. They finally find the right number and they're like, yeah, you got to come back at, uh, you know, at 6 for your appointment. I'm like, well, I thought early would be a good thing. And they said, no, you know, you know, sorry, sir, because, you know, but whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I said, all right, when is the earliest I can come back? They said about 545. 
So I said, fine, I'll go over to the TA and fill up because I know it's cheaper here, actually in New York State right now, than it is in Ohio, which is strange. And the fuel had just gone up 40 cents or something like that uh, last night, and it's supposed to go up another 20 cents or so tonight because OPEC made their little announcement they're, they're going to cut back production. So, of course, the American oil companies <coughs> stab us in the heart and stuff and shoot the prices right up immediately, even though this fuel has been over here for months, but that's a whole other issue I won't get into. So I figured I might as well top it off now. So I ran over and topped off the fuel, went ahead and got my reserved parking uh, ticket, um, and then parked and ran in and took a shower. And ah, that was also... Oh, so nice. Well, it was pretty good. The, the room wasn't the cleanest. And I know this shouldn't really be a huge issue, but it is to all of us, and I think you can relate. You come in, and I'm putting everything down, and I look on the toilet seat, and there's a hair. And you would think, okay, should a hair bug you that much? Probably not, but you know why it bugs you. And I know you've been there because you know what kind of a hair it is. Not from the top of your head. So then you gotta get some Kleenex or uh, toilet paper, wipe it around your hand and, and push it into the bowl and then flush it, you know. Should it bother us that much? Probably not, but it does. Doesn't that just wake you out? So anyway, Mark got me a couple other good loads already. I'm picking up tomorrow in Poughkeepsie, uh, New York. Even though it's spelled P-O-U-G-H-K-E-E-P-S-I-E, -E -E, I think. That would be Poughkeepsie. But of course, up here they say Poughkeepsie, Poughkeepsie. Um, so I'm picking up there. It's only like 30 miles away from here. Going to the Chicago area for a Sunday morning delivery. It's some sort of electronics. Uh, and then I've got another load that Mark found for me, picking up Smucker's Jam, uh, about 45 miles from there on Sunday morning. Going down, uh, straight through, down to uh, Bluffton, Indiana for a delivery that night at a Kroger. Now that's the downside. I'm probably gonna get stuck there for hours and hours. But, you know, ever since I've done the remodel, uh, this was the whole point of doing this. I don't mind getting stuck as much because I got plenty of food in here. Uh, Rusty and I are comfortable. I've got my little couch, got my TV, my nice big bed upstairs. You know, I'm set, baby. I'm pretty much self-contained, not to mention the toilet, thank you. And this would be a good opportunity to throw in there. If you're new to the channel and you're telling me, why do you keep saying remodel, remodel? Well, look behind me. That's my bed upstairs. I made it upstairs. And the closet you can see right behind me there. Completely remodeled this truck, but I did document it all through videos. I've got 111 updates. Scroll down deep and you can watch how I completely remodeled this truck. And I am really enjoying it. And this uh, past weekend when I was home, remember I was trying to fix the whole leak issue for the box extension. And uh, talked about in, uh, what, a couple of videos ago how... Yeah, I'd run through a lot of rain and nothing's leaking so far. Haven't really run into any rain since. I am going to go to a truck wash tomorrow, the Hurricane Truck Wash in Brookville, um, after I pick up on my way back across Pennsylvania, because it's only 50 bucks for the truck and trailer. You go to a Blue Beacon, it's 80, 90 bucks or more. Uh, they don't do the best job, but everyone keeps harping on me, clean your truck, wash your truck, wash your truck. Can I make sure the leak is fixed first? You know... And I would remember I was off for a long time and the rates plummeted. I'm trying to save a little cash. Spending 90 bucks to wash the truck seems a little extravagant to me. Everyone keeps saying, wash your damn truck, wash your damn, me, 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 me. So I'm going to get it washed tomorrow. It won't be the best wash job, but I think it'll be fairly good. So in the next video, you can see the cleaner truck, okay? Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. I hope you enjoyed that edition of uh, Drunker Texting and a couple of the other road video stuff out there and load updates and all that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Please like and comment. I get to your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. There's Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter, where I put the rusty stuff. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Frank's late. That's not like him. Frank won't be coming in today, Joe. 24-hour virus. Or tomorrow, 48 Nope, he bought a uh, goat farm and moved up to Ukiah. Every man's got to have his dream, Captain. And Frank's was that goat farm. Oh, I, he's eyeing it. He sees me. Oh, there it goes. Did you get it? Oh, no, it's in front of your pet bed. I got the camera on it. Right down there. You see it? Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. 
Yeah, we're at the bottom of this other bag, so we've just got little pieces. But don't worry, have that full bag still, right over here, up there, all ready to go. So, Rusty will not be without the ever so famous bag and strips. We need to get Purina to sponsor us, don't we, Rusty? Yeah, I think that needs to happen. Happy dog look!